Hello, in this video we are going to solve this problem. We have 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 divided by 9 to the power of x and this is equal to 81. So we are to find the value of x and we have solution. So 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 all divided by 9 is simply 3 to the power of 2 and this is all to the power of x and this is equals to 81 is simply equals to 3 to the power of 4. So we have 3 to the power of 4. So right now, we can actually multiply this exponent 2 times x. So you're going to have, this is equals to 3 to the power of x to the power of 3, all divided by 3 to the power of 2x. And this is equals to 3 to the power of 4. So if we consider this identity, we have a to the power of n divided by a to the power of m is simply equals to a to the power of n minus m. We are going to apply this identity here. So that means we are going to have 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 minus we have 2x taking this 2x over to this side and this is equals to 3 to the power of 4. So let's continue in the next slide. Now we have 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 minus 2x and this is equals to 3 to the power of 4. Now, we have 3 here as the base and we have 3 here as the base, so we can actually cancel them. So we now have x to the power of 3 minus 2x equals to 4. And if we rearrange this particular equation, we're going to have x to the power of 3 minus 2x minus 4, and this is equals to 0. So this is a cubic equation and we can solve this by actually testing a particular value of x that will satisfy this equation. So we are going to start from when x equals to 1 and this will give us we're going to have 1 to the power of 3 minus 2 times 1 minus 4 and is this equals to 0? No, this is not equals to 0 because 1 to the power of 3 is 1 and 1 minus 2 is negative 1 so we have negative 1 minus 4 and that is negative 5 so it's not equals to 0 now let's consider when x equals to 2 we are going to have 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 into 2 minus 4 and 2 to the power of 3 is 8, and this is minus 4, and this is minus 4. This should be equal to 0. And you have 8 minus 4 minus 4. 8 minus 4 is 4, 4 minus 4 is 0. So this is equal to 0. This actually means that x equals to 2 is one of the solutions to this particular equation. Now, to find the other solutions, let's now convert this to a factor. That means x minus 2 times another factor of this particular equation will be equals to zero. So we need to find these other factors now. So what can we do? Now let's go ahead to the next slide. We have x to the power of three minus two x minus four equals to zero. And we have discovered that x minus two is one of the factors. So to find the other factors, we are going to divide x to the power of three minus two x minus four by x minus two. So this is one of the ways of finding the other factors of this particular equation. And there are two methods of finding these other factors. And there are two methods of dividing this particular two expressions. So we have the long division method. And we have the synthetic method. So we are going to consider this synthetic method because it's quite very simple and it doesn't take time at all. So, in order to divide this using the synthetic method, first we are going to equate this to be equal to 0, this denominator here, and we are going to have x to be equal to 2. Then we have 2. So, let's write out the coefficient of this particular numerator. We have 1, which is the coefficient of x cubed, and we have 0, because since there is no x squared, that's, that's why we are having 0 here. Now we have negative 2, which is the coefficient of x here, and we have negative 4, which is the constant. So we are going to bring this one here. Now we have 2 times 1, that is 2. So 0 plus 2 is 2. We have 2 times 2, that is 4. Negative 2 plus 4 is 2. We have 2 times 2, we have 4. And negative 4 plus 4, that is 0. So 
what we are going to have, we are going to have x squared plus 2x plus 2. And this is equal to 0. So that means the two factors are we're going to have x minus 2 and we're going to have x squared plus 2x plus 2. And this is equal to 0. So this is what we are going to solve to find the values of x. Now let's go ahead and solve this in the next slide. So we have x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 2 and this is equals to 0. So that means we are going to equate x minus 2 to be equal to 0 or we have x squared plus 2x plus 2 to be equal to 0. So right now if you equate this you're going to have x to be equal to 2. So this is one of the valid solutions. Now let's solve this quadratic equation to find the other solutions. And we are going to solve this using the formula method. So we have x equals to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. And from this quadratic equation, we have a to be equals to 1, which is the coefficient of x squared here. We have b to be equals to 2, which is the coefficient of x here. And we have c to be equals to 2, which is the constant. So that means we are going to have negative 2 plus or minus we have square root of b squared is 4 so we have 4 minus 4 times a that is 4 times 1 that is 4 times 2 and that is 8 we have 8 here all divided by 2 times 1 that is 2 so we are going to have negative 2 plus or minus root of negative 4 divided by because 4 minus 8 is negative 4. And this is our x. So let's go ahead and solve this in our next slide. So we have x equals to negative 2 plus or minus root of negative 4 all divided by 2. So that means our x is equals to negative 2 plus root of negative 4 divided by 2. Or we have x equals to negative 2 minus we have root of negative 4 divided by 2. And now we have what is root of negative 4? This is simply equals to root of negative 1 times root of 4. And root of negative 1 is simply an imaginary number i. And this time root of 4 is 2. So this is equals to 2i. So we are going to insert 2i where we have root of negative 4. So therefore our x is equals to we have negative 2 plus 2i divided by 2 or we have x equals to negative 2 minus 2i divided by 2 and if you divide this by 2 you're going to have x to be equals to negative 1 plus i or we have x to be equals to negative 1 minus i and these are the other solutions for x so therefore we can write here our x is equal to 2 or we have negative 1 plus i or we have negative 1 minus i and that is the end of the video and at this point we have come to the end of the class please don't forget to subscribe and share to your friends thank you and goodbye